Hi, fourth graders. Mr. Humner here again, and I figured we would do an, a video today since we have a two hour late start. But um, this video is going to be on estimating while using division. Okay, and another way to say it is di um, division by using compatible numbers. All right, compatible numbers means numbers that are compatible. Um, you're dividing numbers that can go into each other equally. All right, so let's just go on, and I will uh, tell you a little bit more. So, obviously, we have done this one. This is kind of our division patterns. We know 32 divided by 8 because that's just a basic fact of ours. 32 divided by 8 is going to be 4. All right, and we know when we divide, excuse me, when we divide by a multiple of 10, just like this one, we have, let me, um, 32 divided by 8 is 4. Then we have that extra zero in the dividend that makes it 40. So 32 divided by 8 equals 40. Okay? Or 30, 320 divided by 8 equals 40. All right? That's not compatible numbers. Th All right? But this is going to be compatible numbers. Let's say we have um, 33 M&Ms, and we need to divide them up into eight groups. How many equal groups will you have? Well, what you have to think is, how many times can 8 go into 33 without going over? All right? And if that's hard to think of, just write your facts out. 8 times 2 equals 16. 8 times 3 equals 24. 8 times 4 equals 32. And that's pretty close. And 8 times 5 equals 40. All right? Well, we know that one's out because that one's over. So we have to do 8 times 4, so 33. So I would change 33 to 32, and it would be 32 divided by 8 equals 4. All right? Because 32 is a compatible number to 8, because 8 can go into 32 equally. All right? So let's go to the next one here. All right, so we have 82 divided by 9. All right, so we have to figure out what number is close to 82 that 9 can go into equally. Okay, well, I'm looking at 82, so let's just go through my 9's times table. All right, and I'm going to start at 9 times 5 because I know that's 45. So 9 times 5 equals 45. 9 times 6 equals 54. 9 times 7 equals 63. 9 times 8 equals 72. That's getting closer. 9 times 9 equals 81. All right, well, 82 is pretty darn close to 81, so I'm going to use 9 times 9. So I'm going to change that to 81. And then what's 81 divided by 9? That's going to be 9. All right, so if you have a question and it says estimation and it has a question of 82 divided by 9, you know it's going to be about nine equal groups because I used my compatible number of 81 to figure out what 81 divided by 9 is. All right? So it's when, when you get down to it, it gets pretty simple if you know your facts. If you don't know your facts, that's when we get into a little trouble because that way, you know, that's, that's when we start doing the problems and it takes a little longer. Okay? Now let's look at this one. This one's a four-digit. Now, we're still estimating. Whoops. We're still estimating. All right? And that means we're using compatible numbers. Anytime, anytime we use um, estimation and division, we always use compatible numbers. Okay? So, 6 can't go into 5, so i got to use 54. All right? Well, what would I estimate 54 to? That 6 can, can go into equally. Well, that would be 54 and then these two would go to zero. So I would estimate that number to 5400 divided by 6. Okay, There's no zeros in the d divisor, so there's, that's just a 6. So I go 54 divided by 6, which is 9, and add my two zeros that are left over. So my answer here should be about 900, Okay, because I'm using my compatible number of 5400 that can go into it equally that I can do in my head. Remember, when we estimate, we do stuff in our head. Okay? Alright. 
Let's take a look at this one. Remember, you're looking, and I wrote the facts out for you down here, and this is the one you're going to do by yourself, okay? And I'm just going to get you started here. So you're going, you're going 4,332 divided by 7, and you're estimating still, okay? You're estimating still. So what that means is you have to try to figure out what number does 7 go into that's close to 43, okay? And you got your facts down here, so you need to take, you need to figure out what you would estimate that number to, okay? And that's the one I want you to work on by yourself. All right, so this one I haven't wrote the facts out for you, but you're going, you're always looking at the front two, first two numbers, all right? Because my divisor can't go into seven. So I look at the first two numbers. So I'm looking at what number is close to 74 that 8 can go into. Okay. Well, I'm just going to start you off. 8 times 7 equals 56. And I'll start you there. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do, all right, I'm just going to get a little picture here for you guys to enjoy here, okay? Um, but you have, this is your word problem, and remember, we're using compatible numbers. If you need to, I will get some, uh, the, the multiplication table to help you out, but you need to start knowing your facts, because this would be a lot easier if you did, all right? So, start knowing your division facts, and you should be good to go, all right? Have a great rest of the day.